iPhone 13 versus Samsung Galaxy S23 speed test. Let's begin with a boot up in three, two, go and see which one gets there first. Now we are looking at an Apple A15 Bionic chipset on the left. We have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 on the right, eight gigabytes of RAM on the right versus six gigs of RAM on the left here. Actually, it might be four. Yeah, this is a 13. The 14 has six gigs. This has four. iPhone said, shut your mouth, Nick. Today, I'm gonna boot up first over your little new Sammy boy. But Sammy boy, we'll take a break, we'll wait. Wow, that's quite a bit faster to turn. I don't care, Nick, I don't care. I don't care about your little boot up test. It means nothing to me because I never boot my phone up, but I don't know what this thing is doing, optimizing what kind of apps. I wasn't doing an update, so I don't know what this is, but it should turn on a little faster than that usually, but definitely, you know, the iPhone is typically turns on faster because one UI takes a little more space. When, when are you gonna need to turn on your phone again? Probably in situations when it's lagging up or something like that, which doesn't happen often, or if you just wanna clear out the RAM, clear out the memory and just kinda have a fresh start, it's good to boot them up once in a while. So confirming the software, we have One UI version 5.1, Android 13 for the Samsung. Over here on the iPhone 16.4, the latest version just got announced and released a couple days ago. So definitely the latest and greatest over here on the iPhone 13. And you can see right here on the home screens, these phones actually have a similar look and feel size wise, both around 6.1 inches. There is a big difference though. iPhone 13 employs a 60 Hertz panel. So for a lot of people that's yuck in 2023, but a lot of people also don't really give a hoot about that whatsoever. But the Samsung S23 when generally scrolling through the phone actually feels a little bit faster for sure. So just wanted to mention that, you know, back in the day, back in the day, the Samsung phones definitely did feel not quite as uh, smooth on the home screens are generally going through their systems. And this whole little debate about, oh, we we'll give it a couple of weeks and watch how that thing lags. Listen, no, it's not lagging at all, not at all. So definitely smoother on a Samsung when it comes to the general user interface. All right, guys, so we've arrived at the application test and here we are, everything is closed out for both phones, have the same applications lined up on both. Let's go to calendar, you can see, Samsung's animation looks a little faster. We'll go into calculator. Samsung once again, we'll swipe up out of there and look at how similar the apps look when you close them. Samsung with a faster animation once again. We'll go over here to world clock. So if you have a 13, you're thinking about upgrading to the S23, getting that trade in value, getting this much cheaper and getting some improved specs. So far, it's looking like you're gonna get a better performer as well. Let's head up out of here and let's go into Play Store App Store. And you can see Play Store was slower that time than the iPhone. We'll go over here to apps and you'll see Samsung on the right scrolling through. Pretty similar, but we have a faster scroll for the Samsung. We have that smoother looking feel, but that choppiness of 60 Hertz is pretty evident when you compare it to 120 Hertz. So definitely Apple needs to go to at least 90 Hertz on the iPhone 15s. We'll go over here to Twitter on both and you'll see right there, Twitter far faster on the, it was the Samsung. Let's go over here to my latest post. That's not my post. Let's go to my latest post here. You'll see once in application, both of them pretty good here. We'll swipe up out of there. We'll go into Groupon. You can see Groupon first, they're on the right categories. Again, on the right. And man, that's faster on the right. Man, does this Samsung hum along just fine? Let's go over here to beauty and spas. It's not that, you know, the iPhone doesn't hum along as well. It definitely does, even being a th iPhone 13. It's that we benchmark phones against the iPhone. It's always been the top performers, so I'm gonna benchmark it against the top performers. And Samsung has come to the level where not only they have more features now, their products are also starting to feel faster than a lot of Apple products, which is insane because 
it was never like that. It was always either you get more speed, more efficiency, more optimizations, or you're gonna go ahead and get yourself more uh, features on the Samsung phone. But these days it's more like either you want all the features, speed, and maybe even more modern looking hardware with the punch hole versus this you know, notch, or you just stick with what you know, which is Apple. And there's nothing wrong with that, sticking with what you know. It's an awesome product. And if you love it, continue to purchase that. But I'm just showing you that there's, you can't sit over here and flex and act like, you know, Samsung hasn't come a long way. They definitely have. Apple's still winning there on that game. But again, some applications are still more polished for the iPhone, but you can see that, that trigger two, actually, I think this one wasn't in the same match. I'm gonna go ahead and rerun that. Let me close this one out. Let me get this one in the same match. But definitely, you know, you're gonna find that even though you have an iPhone 13 that has not quite the smoothest display, it can still basically run everything about at the same performance. So we're in the same match now. Let's go, let's go ahead, same mission actually. Let's go ahead and rerun dead trigger one time, dead trigger two, three, two, go. And iPhone's still faster. What about loading the page? That time just a hair quicker. Now when actually playing the game, you're operating on a similar size panel here. So you're not gonna have any big issues whatsoever on either. Although the punch hole is less obtrusive. So I do feel like Samsung's experience is a little bit better in that respect. You can see the notch right there kind of cutting into the map just a little bit. So overall, you know, pretty good on both, but Samsung experience a little more immersive. Let's go ahead and go to Asphalt 9. You can see Samsung look to be in the lead, but Apple might take this. Apple usually does really well in the games, but you can see the Samsung definitely was a little faster there. And I can hear them already in the comments. Oh, wow, your Samsung phone S23 can barely keep up with iPhone 13. A two year old phone. Listen, it beat the iPhone 14 too. So come at me. You know, I'm just saying, like, let's go into Subway Surfers. You know, like, <laughs> just, Im just admit the facts when the facts are there. You know, like, when it's faster, it's faster. D does it mean it's better? No, that's, that's your opinion. You know, is it better? Better is opinion. And I always say that in my videos. You know, people get in the comments. Oh, you need to be, you need to be objective. You, you are a reviewer. What? Like this is YouTube, YouTube. You talk about things you enjoy and you're passionate about. And I'm giving you my takes here. I'm not saying the Samsung phones are better. I'm saying that in some ways they are, some ways the iPhones are. But I can tell you their Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy is definitely playing on the same level in real life to the iPhone 13, 14, 14 Pro, whatever you wanna compare it to. Those right now, they're playing on the same level. Let's go into Geekbench 6. And you could see Geekbench 6, definitely faster on the right, and 3D Mark on the right, a little bit by animation. So overall, I would say Samsung won this out, definitely over the iPhone 13. If you're looking for an upgrade, you can trade in 13, get a nice substantial discount. But only do this if you plan to keep your Samsung a while or you're gonna stick with the Apple, uh, the Samsung ecosystem because it, the trade-in values and the resale values are lower on Samsung phones, so keep that in mind. But overall, just in this app speed, I'm gonna have to give it to the Galaxy S23. So let's go ahead and take it through their memory management now or RAM management, and you'll see both of them doing well. And, you know, I get this comment multiple times. Oh, you're only testing the memory performance when you're doing these tests. If you want to get technical, maybe. But what I'm doing is I'm doing what I do on a day to day and what most people do. They open applications. They don't. They, they play around with them. They open up stuff in the applications. This is what people do in real life. <laughs> they don't just you know, go on your phone and start editing a 16 minute 4K video. You wanna test the performance like that? Go ahead, 90% of the market doesn't do that stuff anyway. So you can make that video for a niche crowd of people who are actually gonna edit on a tiny screen. The majority are gonna edit on their MacBooks or their desktops. Let's head up out of here. eBay, Best Buy, Amazon, Groupon, Play Store, Clock, 
calculator calendar. Look at the speed right there. The speed just very, very nice. RAM management wise, no issues. There was no reloads, nothing like that. Something I used to see on Samsung phones in the past was a little glitch. Now look at that. You go out fast, it goes out fast. You go out slow, it will provide you with a little bit of a slower, smoother looking animation. If you come out like that, it'll come out smooth too. Just like we've been used to with the iOS experience, as you can see right there, as you can see right there. So very good. All right, so here's the internet browsing test. So let's go to apple.com here first, see how they do. Pretty much the same. We're gonna learn more about the iPhone 14, just kind of see how they open up this stuff. Pretty good there. Let's go ahead now and open up another website. Oh, we go to Samsung's website, samsung.com, three, two, go. And you can see Samsung first on the left. That's funny because the Apple website was a little faster. They were like switching. But overall, I mean, zooming, scrolling, scrolling smoother and faster on Samsung now. Whereas we have a slower, more probably pleasing to the eye scroll on the iPhone because it doesn't, it doesn't go so fast through like on the Samsung. But overall, I mean, both of them very good in the internet performance and both have 5G capabilities, so neither is behind in that respect. All right, guys, and here is our final Geekbench 6 scores. You can see the iPhone 14 or 13 actually has a little bit better single core and better multi-core scores. So Samsung, pretty great scores, but they don't beat the iPhones. Let's go over here to 3D Mark and we'll run a wildlife extreme test and we'll see basically which one can come out on top. Now these don't take too long. They're like less than a minute long, but I'll be back when they're done. You can see Samsung already in the lead. The scores might be a little different here. We'll go ahead and come back in a second. And here are our final wildlife scores. You can see the iPhone 13 with a 2343. Samsung wins it out here with a 3402 with six frames per second higher average frame rate over Apple's 14 on the 13 model. So what is the conclusion of this video? Which is the faster overall phone? I can tell you from using both of these phones extensively, the Samsung device feels faster with its 120 Hertz and its animations look quicker. So what you visually see day to day and what you'll actually majority of the time be experiencing, the Samsung feels like the faster phone. Now, if you wanna talk about Geekbench 6, the A15 being faster in certain applications, that's gonna be the case, but the 60 Hertz holds it back from feeling on the same level and speed as the iPhone, as the Samsung Galaxy S23 over there. So let me know your thoughts. Are you keeping your 13, upgrading to the 15, or hoping for a better improvement? Are you gonna swap over to this S23? Or are you just gonna stick with the iPhone 13 a while? Keep in mind, both these phones are still very fast. They're both built to last. So this is not a video trying to convince you. You have to get one or the other. I made this video for entertainment. I love seeing how fast these guys perform next to each other, so I wanted to share it with you all. So thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know if you wanna see any of these other speed tests that we forgot to compare with the S23 models, because there's plenty of them. Um... So let me know if there's any more speed test that I missed out on that you wanted to see with Samsung's S23, the latest Samsung phone on the block. I'll catch you on the next one. Nick here, be sure to be well and peace.